just got done watching 2004's Der Untergang, also known as Downfall, uh, starring Bruno Ganz, Alexandria Maria Lara, Karina Halfouch, uh, Ulrich Mafius, and Julianne Korla. And I've probably just offended Germans everywhere for my bad pronunciations, but apologies. Um, I did actually rave about this on a video log I did a few years ago when I originally bought the DVD and this is probably going to be pretty much exactly the same as what I said back then um, if not just more obviously uh, maybe a bit more because obviously I just watched it as opposed to I think I've watched it the day before when I did that video log um, so <laughs> I apologize for pretty much repeating everything I've said before um, but this is an amazing film uh, as I've said before I'm fascinated by uh, war movies and stuff and I'm a big sucker for knowledge and this is the kind of thing that can teach you a lot of stuff that you might not have known or forgotten from your history lessons um, it basically follows um, Tradel Jung uh, Hitler's personal secretary uh, it's done through her eyes through the last uh, few kind of days of the war um, as as the Russians uh, take over Berlin um, and oh my god it's bleak um, and depressing and it's just amazingly told uh, although it's um, although it's mainly told through through her eyes um, what she sees, obviously there's snippets of stuff going on elsewhere and on the front line and stuff like that and, and you follow stuff like the Hitler Youth and and, and all that kind of uh, stuff and it's just really, really gritty and well told and I can't imagine this being, it probably has been and if it has and I'm being ignorant, I apologise. I cannot imagine this being done in English. This is all um, in German. Uh, unfortunately, this is the kind of movie I then, as a result, have to watch on my laptop because I can't read the uh, subtitles on my TV from a distance. Um, so, uh, it's the kind of thing where I'm kind of sat there. and This is the thing, I'm not somebody who watches many uh, foreign films and that's not because I think they're bad at that, it's because literally I struggle to focus on the subtitles and the action at the same time and if I'm too trying to read uh, the subtitles I lose a lot from what's going on so I don't pay much attention to, to foreign, fil foreign films but this honestly if anything was going to get me into foreign films and oh my god that must be like the third or fourth time that that's happened during these reviews I'm so sorry I will make sure I charge the battery before <laughs> before reviewing. Um, so yeah, no. If any movie is gonna make me uh, uh, get into horror, uh, horror, get into foreign films, it's this because uh, it's just so well told. Um, it's two and a half hours long, uh, and I will say by the midway point. Um, you're kind of, because there's so much like, oh, we're going to be overrun, let's all commit suicide now, this, that and the other. You get to that, like, hour or so mark, and you're just like, well, you do it already. Um, and it, there's this block in the middle where it kind of just, I don't know what it is, it just kind of feels like it's bleh. Um, but then it picks up again, it picks momentum up again, um, and you don't mind the rest of it as much. Um, I just know I was checking the time on it at about the hour mark and was like, wow, really? Is that long to go? Um, and I don't know if that is the reading the type subtitles thing or what, but um, that would be my only issue with it. Um, but the acting in it is amazing. As I've said before, Bruno Garns as... Um, as Hitler is just I cannot imagine he does it so well and it, even down to the um, handshaking and that it was just scary if I'm honest um, and 
every I can't floor anybody else. Sometimes you get a bit frustrated because you don't know who some of the people are because they don't say names as much and you're just like, who is that supposed to be? Who is that? Um, and then you see like they have those kind of uh, uh, titles at the end where they show what happened to each person and you're like, ah, is that who that was? And stuff like that. Um, and you do kind of... <laughs> uh, I know certainly um, Goering, I was just like, oh, oh is that, oh, okay. Um, I will say the most awful, awful scene in this uh, is when Frau Goebbels uh, kills their children. That, I still say, is just awful. Because she gives them this, um, uh, like, stuff to make them go to sleep. <laughs> and then she puts uh, poison pills in their mouths. And you watch her as each, I, I just, the impact of each single one. They don't just like show you a couple and you, you've got the idea. They show you every single one where she puts the pill in the tablet. Uh, pill in the tablet, oh my god. It's too late for this. It's uh, <laughs> half two in the morning. Um, she, she, she puts the uh, poison capsule in their mouths. And then like grabs their jaw and snaps it shut so the poison trickles into their mouth. And then you, you, you watch as she pours the cover and their feet are exposed. And it's just like, okay, I get it. And it's just awful every time she does it. Um, but this is not a happy movie. If you're, expect, if you're this kind of person who only likes stuff with a happy ever after. Um, I mean, this is a true life story. It's based on two books from, uh, you know, people's kind of memoir, memoirs and, and accounts of what happened. Um, including... Um, Till the final, I could be wrong, uh, something the final hours by Charles Young and um, Maria Muller or something, I can't remember, I, I just remember seeing the names at the end. Um, but um, this is obviously true facts and you know it's not her hero story because it's telling it from the Nazis point of view. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. And, you see like the fighting as like you've got the ones that want to stay true to the Fuhrer and and they're like committing suicide and that and, and lasting for as long as possible and promising to fight until the last and then you've got the ones that are like it's over we need to surrender to the Russians and that uh, and you see all this conflict between them uh, and and you see that conflict on their faces as they're trying to figure out the best way to go about this um, it's really engaging. It's really, um, there is a slight, obviously, I guess you could say there's a slight happier for after, in that you see a uh, modern day uh, tribal room, um, as she uh, says, you know, she didn't know at the time what was going on in that. And then she saw a, a memorial and, and stuff like that, and she realised there could have been more that she could have done in that. And that's kind of sad, and yet at the same time it's realising that somebody is, you know, it's seeing that somebody has realised how naive and, and that they were and that they could have done more. Um, but it's an amazing, engrossing, I could not rave about this movie anymore if I tried. Um, it's not for everybody, I get that. Um, not everybody wants to trawl through subtitles, not everybody is after a depressing movie. I mean, my God, I got to this end of this movie and I was just like, feeling, I was in tears and, and just, it just gets you right there. And I think that's what we kind of need these days. There's so much, you know, in the Middle East and stuff and, you know, all this bad stuff that's going on in the world at the moment. And you see what has been gone through in the past. And I think we need that to kind of have our roots in a way um, and I know certainly as a Brit you know that is something that I feel very much um, that's why I get frustrated with people that don't like to celebrate Remembrance Day and stuff like that um, but yeah no if you like war movies if you like true story movies um, please do if you get the chance and if you don't mind like I say, I cannot remember, I cannot imagine this in English. 
Uh, I get so frustrated sometimes when you watch these kind of war movies and I had it with Defiance. And you get these English or American actors putting on these awful accents or in some movies cases where the Americans they just carry on, they're playing a German and they're just carrying on with their American accents. I don't know what's worse in that case because it completely takes you out of it. Whereas this, because it is German and it's based on German history, um, it feels so much more authentic. Um, so if you get the chance, please do check out 2004's uh, Downfall, or the Untergang, uh, however you want to call it, but it's definitely worth it. Uh, that was tonight's movie. We'll be back again tomorrow. But for now, this is Sketch, signing out.